Welcome back, plungers. Thanks for pulling up and tapping in. <clears throat> well, I'm here with Jill and kind of done it again. Um, well, right now I'm in the middle of, well, that's my chest, but I'm in the middle of a build, a massive build. And as usual, I do a build and I don't think it's big enough. So I go bigger. But this isn't even the build that I'm speaking of. It's the build that I finished just before doing this. But let's give this a quick once over because this is going to be a massive, massive monstrosity. But let's head over to my latest build which I'm actually quite proud of. And I found a cave also. Uh, matter of fact, so you will stop by the entrance since it's on the way. So yeah, I've just been building man. Just, just caught myself up with that. I think it's under here. I don't know what it looks like from this side. Sure, what it looks like on this side, guys. But I did find a cave. Actually, I marked it on the map. Yeah, it's right around there somewhere. It's easy to see from this side. You know what? That's better. That is better. Guy is running out of stem. Let's put, put her down up here. This is Jill, by the way. Let's put Jill down for a minute. Her stamina grows pretty fast, but right there at the center of the screen is where my. Uh, can't see it right now. But it is where I haven't come up with a name for it yet, but it's where my new build is. <laughs> and as I do, I move in and I use it. So I've come to place practicality over aesthetics, but I think this one looks pretty good. Still. So, uh, it's extremely practical. It's more of an open floor plan, so I could take this guy pretty much through the whole thing. If I wanted to. Oh, in there is, uh, the food trough for whatever flyers I park up there, but this elevator is extremely slow. We get the point, right? There's an elevator. Let's, let's land, let's land, let's land, Jill. Come on, Jill. So through here, I have a, a gateway, which will take me out into the, into the water. And as you can see, Jill doesn't like the water with passengers. I built this little platform there. And again, like I said, open floor plan. So out here I have Dinosuchus, brand new Dinosuchus that needs a name. Level 159, definitely needs a name. Well, 160, throw that into melee. Level 160 needs a name. 
and Jill does not need a name. So we'll take the fast track up, as you can see. The That is the nest, the Griffin nest, and it's glitchy. So I'm not even gonna demonstrate that. Oh yeah, before we do go upstairs, we won't even go up that way. We'll put her right here. And I'll show you the utility room. So this is the repair station, which passively repairs structures. So in the event of an attack, after the attack is done, I don't gotta run around fixing walls and foundations and such. Uh, turret Genie, self-explanatory, I guess. It manages all the turrets that I have yet to put up. This is the generator and this is the AA refrigerated food trough. Refrigerated food trough is a game changer. So uh, yeah, this is another access to the courtyard. Uh, these steps come right out here to this balcony right there, that deck, so I won't bother taking it. Uh, like I said, uh, the nest is glitchy, so I won't even jump on it. But as you can see, I got some stables over here. Matter of fact, let's let's introduce you guys to the to the crew here. Here we got Harvey. He's the guy that that's cleared away. Because to be perfectly honest, the, the hardest part is clearing away the trees and the rocks and all that stuff. So while Harvey took care of the trees and the bushes and stuff, I dealt with the rocks and we managed to get this whole place cleared out. Uh, here's a raptor, beautiful raptor. Not sure what name I'm going to give him yet, but there he is. I got a Theomia. Not sure what name I'm going to give her yet. But there she is, and I still haven't named the Giga. But he's there for scale. Just to show you, you know? The Giga could fit in there comfortably then. It's pretty good. Uh, Stegosaurus. Um, I got him to deal with the trees, but to be perfectly honest, Harvey was way better dealing with the trees. We got this... Uh, patio exit here and this isn't the safest location I'll tell you that right now it's not the safest location oh here it is on the map the one on the lower left the green one that's where we were before and this is obviously where we are now so let's uh, show you the rest the workshop and again open floor plan so I could still be on a dyno walking through here for the most part for the most part I say because we're gonna get into the next area next. so I got some bookcases there for some blueprints got some frigidaires got some safes and I'm using this uh, ascended arc I think that's the name of it it's the name of the mod I featured it and put a list in last one of the last episodes. Go check that out. I, I went through all the mods that I had, and I did add the grip, the uh, Griffin and the uh, Phoenix. But here we are. Here's the garden. I have every plant necessary. Literally, every plant necessary. Um, again, some storage. This collects all the poop and the thatch. So it will pull thatch from structures and it will pull poop from right off the floor from animals and it will create compost. Use that to enhance your fertilizing. Uh, what haven't I shown you? It feels like I haven't shown you everything, but I think that's about it. Yeah, nice big open floor plan. 
I put them on, on Wander. They'll they could have their their free run of the place, which I might do at some point. Just let them wander around everything except the Giga, and just. But for now, everybody's parked up, and chilling, hanging out in the new place. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go work on the other place. And uh, thanks for joining me for this little excursion. So we'll take one more look at it from the outside. Did we? Yeah, we didn't. We didn't make it. We didn't make it. We gotta try that again. Okay, here we go. So here's what it looks like at night. I like the Griffin. It's, it's like a helicopter. But yeah, that's my spot, guys. Thanks for tapping in. Peace.